So, today I wanted to do something different. I don't quite expect this video to get the same amount of views as some of my other videos, but yeah, I'm not expecting it to get the same amount of attention to be as intriguing as some of the other ones, but um, I've never quite seen a video like this on YouTube and I do think it's quite important, so I decided to make it for you guys. So what am I on about? Well, today I want to urge all of you to share your best recovery tips with everyone else here in the comment section below. Why? Well, I can always go on and on and ramble about my experiences, but these might not ring true for everyone. Everyone has a unique situation that they're in and some things might work for them that might not work for other people. Or they might have a certain approach that some people haven't even thought about, but that might be perfect for them. So do leave your tips below and they can be about how to gain weight, how to deal with weight gain, how to get your period back, how to deal with comments in recovery, or how to accept the changes in your body, how to love yourself. These are all so incredibly important and I think it's crucial to get lots of different viewpoints on this and to see what other people are doing to see if you can apply it to your situation. So for me personally, for example, mentally I'm doing all right. Physically I'm all right, I guess, but I'm still trying to gain some weight. And right now I'm quite in a quite um, challenging situation for the fact that I'm really struggling to put on weight. It's not really happening. And yeah, if you want to see what I currently eat, do check out my what I eat in a day post. I posted one just recently and yeah if you have any tips for me do also leave those below because they're very welcome especially in this heat and with my current busy day schedule any advice is happily accepted by me as well as as I expect it to be by many other viewers of this channel so do leave them below I thank you with all of my heart anyway weight gain really is quite important in recovery so how to gain weight, how to deal with weight gain, these tips obviously are very welcome. I mean, weight restoration is crucial for your mindset to change as well. So that's also why this is the focus of many therapies and many approaches to recovery. So I'm not just gonna leave you hanging here. I also have my three best tips for you. So let's dive in. Tip number one. Focus on recovery. So disregard the weight gain and the uncomfortable feeling, but focus on the many, many other benefits you'll gain as well. Obviously weight gain is important and you have to be sure that you do gain weight, but try not to dwell on it and think about it constantly. There are so many other things that you could be thinking about that you are now making room for in your life again. Now that you no longer have to obsess about food, Imagine how much time you'll have to do other things, to think about other things, to see friends, to write poetry, to fall in love, to do the projects that you've put off because of your eating disorder. So focus on what you will gain and realize that you'll gain so much more from recovery than if you stay with your eating disorder. Write them all out and hell, if you're like me, Make a little booklet, a, a positive motivational booklet that you can look at whenever you feel that you want to or when you're struggling or you feel that you might be relapsing. This can be so helpful. And even now I look at mine sometimes because so many memories are bottled up inside of it and that's beautiful. My tip number two. As you might remember, about a year ago I stopped weighing myself. So my tip to you, throw away your scale or hide it where you won't reach for it. I used to weigh myself every single day for years and years and years. And this sounds ridiculous now, but my therapist told me I had to weigh myself every morning, so I did. And I don't quite know why she told me to do this because it was horrific. My mood would depend entirely on my weight. 
So once I had changed my mindset and wanted to put on weight as I should and the scale did not quite agree, that would put me in such a bad mood throughout that entire day and now that I only weigh myself several times a year this is no longer the case and life is beautiful. My mood is what I make of it. Tip number three. Accept your body at each stage of recovery. I know that emphasis is always on how you should look or what you should weigh or all the goals that you have in recovery, but I think it's really important to accept yourself at every stage. Even if right now you might be much too heavy or much too light um, for your health, I do think it's important to accept and to love yourself even now. What I am guilty of is when I was much, much too thin, I wouldn't want to buy any clothes for myself and I still find this difficult because with the mindset of, oh, I, I'm planning to grow out of it quickly, you never treat yourself to anything anymore. And it's important to treat yourself, to love yourself, to be comfortable with yourself at any stage because if you're not, how will you go through life? Not treating yourself to anything, not daring to go swimming or to wear clothes that might be more comfortable but that you would feel uncomfortable in if you don't accept yourself. So treat yourself now. Be proud of yourself now. Focus on your accomplishments, on things you find amazing, beautiful, incredible about yourself. Don't put yourself down. And if you if you do this right, if you if you start loving, if you start accepting yourself now, then along the line when you reach your goal weight, obviously this self-love with the self-love will continue to follow you, but it will be unconditional. So that's it for my three tips. As I said before, leave your tips below. Your best tips or your strangest tips, anything you think might be helpful, and I'll see you soon.